Psalm 120 verse 1 to 7, through the Bible. Psalm 120 Theme, The Living Conditions of the Pilgrim This brings us to a new series in the Book of Psalms, a package of 15 Psalms, 120 to 134, each called a Psalm of Degrees in our Bibles. What we have here is, as Martin Luther translated it, the Gradual Psalms, Psalms of the Higher Choir. An outstanding Hebrew scholar has translated it. Songs of the Pilgrim Caravans or On the Homeward Marches These 15 songs were traveling songs, and I think they were used in two different ways. When the captives returned from Babylon, they sang them on the way to Jerusalem. This same use of the term going up is used in Ezra 7 verse 9, which says, For upon the first day of the first month began he, that is, Ezra, to go up from Babylon. And on the first day of the fifth month came he to Jerusalem, according to the good hand of his God upon him. This verse is speaking of Ezra's going up from Babylon to Jerusalem. However, the most common use of these psalms was during the three times each year when they went, as God had commanded, up to Jerusalem to worship. God had required the males to go, and, when they went, they took their families along. As they started to Jerusalem from all over the civilized world, they were scattered at this time, they would sing these psalms. One day it would be one of the psalms, the next day another psalm. And as they came closer and higher, as they approached Jerusalem, they continued to sing them until they came to the final psalm, 134. When they would be standing in the sanctuary of the Lord singing His praises. This is the reason they are called Psalms of Degrees or Ascents and Psalms of the Pilgrim Caravans. You will recall that we have one incident recorded by Dr. Luke in the life of the Lord Jesus between the time of his virgin birth and the beginning of his ministry at the age of 30 years. The Lord, who was then 12 years old, went with his parents to Jerusalem to celebrate one of the feasts. A day's journey from Jerusalem, all of the caravans would meet so that they could go to Jerusalem together. It was a time of fellowship, of renewing friendships, talking over old times, and telling others how things were going. Then they would journey together to Jerusalem, singing these psalms. The place where the caravans met is still pretty well known today, and it was one day's journey out of Jerusalem. When the feast was over, the parents of the Lord Jesus found he was missing, and they had to return to the city to look for him. The account is found in Luke 2 verse 41 to 50. Now you may be wondering if we can be sure these psalms were used this way. Yes, Psalm 122 verses 3 and 4 gives us this information. Jerusalem is builded as a city that is compact together. Whither the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, unto the testimony of Israel, to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. Yes, they were some three times during the year at the feasts of Passover. Pentecost and Tabernacles, as they traveled toward Jerusalem to return thanks to God, to worship Him, and to offer sacrifices. There is a spiritual meaning in these 15 Psalms. It is interesting that many writers of the Talmud pointed out the fact that life is like this, it is an ascent. We come to God as sinners who are away from Him, separated, and alienated. We come to Him for salvation, and having come for salvation, we go on to sanctification as we grow in grace and in the knowledge of Christ. It is a constant going up. We are to be climbing in a spiritual way. My friend, you and I ought to be farther along today than we were last year. Now we begin this journey with Psalm 120, and in this psalm we are looking at the pilgrim, and we will find out where he lives. In my distress I cried unto the Lord, and he heard me. Deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips, and from a deceitful tongue. What shall be given unto thee? Or what shall be done unto thee, thou false tongue? Sharp arrows of the mighty, with coals of juniper. 
Woe is me, that I sojourn in Mizek, that I dwell in the tents of Kedar. My soul hath long dwelt with him that hateth peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. Psalm 120 verse 1 to 7 This is one of the most marvelous we have read, and it is relevant to our hour, especially for the nation pilgrim in this psalm said he lived in Kedar. Who was Mezek? He was one of the sons of Japheth. Genesis 10 verse 2 tells us of the sons of Japheth. Gomer, and Magog, and Madai, and Javan, and Tubal, and Meshech, and Tiras. From the sons of Japheth came the Gentile nations, and Israel today is scattered among the Gentiles throughout the world. They dwell in Mezek. Kedar was the son of Ishmael. Does that tell you anything? The pilgrim was living among the Arabs. That is rather up to date, is it not? Notice that in verse 2 he cries, Deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips, and from a deceitful tongue. It doesn't sound as if he is living in a good neighborhood, does it? They had mean tongues. The man who sojourned in Mezek had been maligned and lied about. I do believe that no people have been lied about, maligned, and persecuted as much as the Jews. We hear much about minority groups today, and the interesting thing is that the Jew has been able to make his way among all nations and peoples, but he has been criticized the entire time. Anti-Semitism has been reeled down through the ages, yet the Jew has been able to survive all of it. The Jews are a minority group among the Gentiles and among the people of the world, and they have lived in the place of gossip, quarrels, tensions, problems, and burdens. Also, this can be said of you and me. Now, not only did the pilgrim live among people with mean tongues, but he lived in a world of war. My soul hath long dwelt with him that hateth peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. That is rather up-to-date also, is it not? It is a wonder the higher critics, who like to give a late dating to scripture, haven't suggested that this psalm was written in the present century. It certainly describes the Jew's current situation. Now it is time to pack up his troubles in his old kid bag and start toward Jerusalem. However, the pilgrim leaves his burdens at home. He leaves his Mezek and his Kedar and starts for Jerusalem to worship his God. Jerusalem is the city of peace. It is not that today. It is rather a dangerous place to be, but it was different in the days of the pilgrim, and it will be different in the future.